Hello everyone. Welcome back to Dr. Max. Today, we are diving into a fascinating yet serious question. How does inflammation cause anemia? You have probably heard about iron deficiency anemia, but many people don't know that even when you eat enough iron, you can still suffer from anemia if your body is inflamed. This is a powerful health topic. So let's get started. What exactly is anemia? Most people think anemia is simply about not eating enough iron. That's partially true, but not the full picture. Anemia means your blood doesn't have enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen around your body. Without oxygen, your body feels weak, tired and drained. One of the most common types is iron deficiency anemia. But there is also anemia of inflammation, also called anemia of chronic disease. This form is common in people with long-term infections, autoimmune diseases like kidney problems or even cancer. A research in the New England Journal of Medicine made it clear that chronic inflammation can directly block your body's ability to use iron, even if your diet is perfect. So how does this happen? When your body is inflamed, it releases signals called cytokines. One important cytokine is interleukin-6, which makes your liver produce more of a hormone called hepcidin. Now think of hepcidin as a lock. It shuts down the doors on your iron storage, trapping iron in places like your liver and spleen. Even though your body has iron, your red blood cells cannot access them. As a result, hemoglobin production drops and anemia sets in. In a study published in Blood Journal, patients with rheumatoid arthritis had high interleukin-6 and high hepcidin, and nearly all of them showed signs of anemia. That's direct proof of how inflammation interferes with iron availability. If you are wondering, whether your anemia is caused by inflammation, here are some signs. First, fatigue that doesn't go away, no matter how much rest you get. Second, shortness of breath while climbing stairs or doing mild activity. Third, pale or yellowish skin. Fourth, feeling dizzy or lightheaded often. Five, cold hands and feet. A trial in Journal of Internal Medicine found that people with Crohn's disease and lupus often had these symptoms, even with enough iron in their diet. That shows diet alone cannot fix anemia when inflammation is at play. So what really causes anemia in inflammation? Here are three main ways. Inflammation triggers anemia. First, reduced iron availability. Hepcidin locks iron away in storage. Your body has iron, but it's useless for making hemoglobin. Second, suppressed bone marrow. Cytokines slow down your bone marrow, which normally produces red blood cells. Research in the Lancet Hematology Journal confirmed bone marrow activity drops during long-term inflammation. Third, shortened red blood cells lifespan. Normally, red blood cells live for about 120 days, but inflammation makes them break down faster, meaning your body is constantly short on red blood cells. In Germany, researchers followed 300 patients with chronic kidney disease, published in Clinical Nephrology Journal. Even though their diets were rich in iron, 40% developed anemia. Their blood showed high hepcidin and inflammation markers. Now, here is the striking part. Once doctors reduced inflammation, anemia improved even before giving iron supplements. That means treating inflammation itself is often the first step towards recovery. Now, I will explain to you about iron deficiency symptoms versus inflammation anemia. Let's compare. Iron deficiency anemia symptoms include unusual cravings, like eating ice or dirt. This is called pica. Brittle nails or thinning of hairs. 
also restless legs at night but with inflammation related anemia symptoms may be more hidden the main complaint is usually overwhelming fatigue lab results also differ ferritin the iron storage protein is often normal or even high but usable iron in the blood is very low an article in the american journal of hematology showed that ferritin levels can mislead doctors since ferritin rises with inflammation that's why careful testing is necessary so how doctors treat this type of anemia let's talk about treatment managing anemia caused by inflammation is not as simple as swallowing iron tablets control the inflammation in arthritis and rheumatology journal patients treated with anti-inflammatory drugs for rheumatoid arthritis saw their anemia improve dramatically this shows that fixing the root cause is a key iron therapy for standard iron deficiency anemia oral tablets work well but in inflammation tablets often fail because hepcidin blocks absorption in such cases doctors use intravenous iron a Mayo Clinic proceeding study showed that IV iron works far better in these patients boosting red blood cell production certain drugs called erythropoiesis stimulating agents help the bone marrow produce red blood cells they are specially used in kidney disease patients nutritional support while food alone won't cure inflammation driven anemia it's still essential to eat iron rich foods like spinach beans meat and fortified cereals supporting nutrition helps the body respond better to treatment here i recommend some lifestyle changes that make a difference if you or someone suffering from chronic illness there are ways to help your body fight both inflammation and anemia first regular blood tests monitor hemoglobin ferritin and inflammation markers before symptoms become severe second anti-inflammatory diet a study in the journal of nutrition showed that omega-3 fatty acids fruits and vegetables reduce inflammation naturally third professional guidance always consult your doctor before taking supplements because too much iron can actually harm you especially if the problem is inflammation putting it all together let's recap inflammation causes anemia by blocking iron slowing down bone marrow and making red blood cells die early it's different from simple iron deficiency and it requires a combined approach treating the inflammation and supporting iron balance at the same time so if you are dealing with constant fatigue weakness or shortness of breath don't ignore it get tested talk to your doctor and make sure you are treating the right cause of your anemia that's all for today's deep dive into how inflammation causes anemia i hope this helps you understand why sometimes eating spinach or taking iron tablets is not enough your health is complex and so are the solutions but with the right approach you can take control if you found this video valuable make sure to hit the like button subscribe to dr max and share this video with friends or family who may benefit together we can spread knowledge and better health thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video